First, I am going to show you all the changes that I have made. The ISO has been compiled, you've seen all the changes I've made, let's install it to a virtual environment. I am using Workstation 15 Pro. I'm going to show you all of the settings that I have selected. I named this virtual machine WinTest 7 and that about does it. Then I change some of the settings. I do this to allocate more processing power. I also select the ISO. Make sure it's loaded. I turn off the network adapter and that's it. Once I created the virtual machine, I can power it on. So I'll be paying special attention to what pops up and what doesn't. So for example, the window that asks me to type in the serial or the operating system code should not show up. Uh, it's actually asking me for a product key as you can see so it seems that the program didn't really do its job and now it's asking me to install 7-zip and now it's asking me to install speedfan now let's see once the desktop appears will computer user files and recycle bin appear on desktop and they do one thing I would like to check is what games I have and as you can see only solitaire is on the list Let's open up Windows Updates and see if they are disabled fully, which they are. I noticed I didn't get the prompt that asked me what to do with updates, enable them, disable them, so that particular screen was skipped. Quickly going to the computer, out of 60 gigabytes, I have about 50 gigabytes free, so this installation takes about 10 gigabytes. Well, I have to say for the most part, I am very satisfied with how the program works. There was a pop-up that asked me for an uh, activation code, but I am fairly certain that I did choose to skip that particular screen. However, most of the changes that I made actually have been applied. Obviously, there is a chance that I have misunderstood what some of the options do, and therefore that's why the activation showed up and was not skipped. Even so, I want to conclude this video and the series as a success. I was able to create my customized Windows 7 ISO to my liking, with the programs that I wanted to have, which is for example 7-zip, which is installed. Be safe and smart about what you decide to remove and always test it in a virtual environment. When you are satisfied, feel free to install it on the actual computer hardware. And that does it for this mini-series. In the next series, I'll be focusing on Windows XP, how to create a customized ISO, and what programs to use. Also expect plenty of reviews on my channel, and that's it. Thanks for your attention. I will see you in future episodes. Priest, signing out. Ticking for hours. Yeah, I feel so old. Gotta waste no time. Gotta wait in line in the weather so cold. Should've brought my coat at the end of the line. On my shit untold. Messed up a lot. Used to be waiting for something or someone to give me my spot. God only show you the way. It's all up to the plan and the paper and people yeah. you brought. I learned what I thought. I hope that they notice and give us a shot. I swear.